I really do need to level up, to be honest. I'm approaching 33. Oh my god, are you making that? Are you making an egg salad? I, I just can't. It was rather a traumatic walk and it was just horrific. Don't have the phone near your testicles because the heat. <laughs> I want you to pick my egg salad next time. Where are you? Why are you not with Bills? Good morning, one and all. Happy Wednesday. It's a really weird week this week because we had Easter Monday and then all of a sudden it's like Tuesday and now it's Wednesday and I'm like, whoa, it's nearly the weekend. Oh gosh, don't I ever look stunning on this YouTube channel? 10 to nine. I've actually been up since 5 a.m. this morning. We have had our first accident in the flat trying to establish a routine for the boys to walk out to go out for wheeze and stuff. And to be honest, we absolutely nailed it. And Vinny woke me up at five o'clock this morning and it was my fault because I took them for a i I've started making their morning walks really long. And I took them for a really long morning walk, two midday wheeze, and then another quite good, length walk at around half past seven they have their last snack at like nine and i should have taken him out maybe dropped one of the midday walks and taken him out for a later evening wee so i've done loads of research at 5 a.m in the morning i'm going to stick to my as soon as i open my eyes i take them out for a long walk so we've done that this morning at half six we were up and out and then i will take them out for another wee on the green at like tw like midday 12 one o'clock and i've ordered some retractable leads as well off amazon arriving today in that area i can like technically let them off the lead without panicking because i have been letting them off the lead there but i just i think i get too stressed in case to be honest Vinny would never go anywhere franco can just be really mischievous sometimes and just he's a wild card you don't really know what you're gonna get so my plan is really long walk in the morning a midday lunch thing and then two like an evening walk and then an evening pee so walk we break walk we break that's gonna be my routine the weather in the uk is so bad it's making it so much more difficult as well because it's really muddy and disgusting so it's just been quite faffy having to put a towel by the back 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 door washing Vinny down <laughs> like all of this lounge all of this hallways carpeted so it's just been a little bit of like logistics trying to work it all out but you know it is what it is and this this was always only ever going to be a temporary situation and I don't think I would have done this if it was in the winter hopefully we'll get the spring that we deserve because right now I'm looking out the window and it's pissing grey drizzle and I'm sick of it. Anyway, thank you so much for your lush messages on my last YouTube video. In fact, the last, the comments on the last two videos have been so lush and I am so grateful for it. I picked up this from Sainsbury's the other day. It's so delicious. It's the, let me show you this where it's easier. It's the Law Artiste. Five Delicato. <laughs> That's really made me crave Italian coffee. I haven't had Italian coffee for a while. God, that is the most privy sentence that has ever come out of my mouth. I do apologise. I'm disgusted with myself. Ah! Things in the flat are going really well. I feel like I have exhaled for the first time in 14 months being here. Good stay, man. I just feel so calm and centred and at peace with everything. Like, it's not perfect and so many things are still needing to be done but i'm just kind of chill about it like what will be will be and also like i said it's temporary so all this ever needed to be was comfortable and for me to feel safe and i'm really just loving being here the kitchen the kitchen is the biggest job it's taken me a while i've got like i've still got loads of washing up to do i can't find the dishwasher on facebook marketplace well i can but this one guy just was refusing to reply to me i've still got the oven and the hob to do the tiles and the rest of the washing up i've been doing it in like shifts but i have sort of started deciding where things are going to go so in here is going to be food like please don't judge me on the easter diet it was pretty much nesquik balls and tea cakes and bourbon biscuits actually do you know what whilst we're at these from m and s 
think they're like extra creamy. Yeah, extra creamy bourbon biscuits. Unbelievable. So good. I've put a few little bits out, but I've not fully sorted that. This is gonna be dinner serverware. I've got a really awful tray from Ikea, cutlery tray from Ikea, but it works, it does the job. In here, I'm gonna have knives. I need to order another cutlery tray for this, but all of these have been cleaned and stuff. And then I've decided that plates and bowls and things are gonna go up here. Mugs and glasses are gonna go in here. Then down here, I've got my like equipment, my air fryer, my slow cooker, my blender, whisk, the lot, the lot. Pots and pans here, and then trays will be going down there. And then also I've got like a cleaning cupboard. These are amazing by the way, they're from Amazon. I bought them in the last house and I think I'm gonna get some more because they're just, I don't know, they don't offend me to look at and they are very practical. So yeah, I'm still plowing through the washing up. These are all the rest of my pl plates and bowls. I'm sure it's in that bottom one. And then this is all of my like pantry food. Why do I keep calling it a pantry? I've never had a bloody pantry. But like spices and stuff. And I have seen that there's been one leak and I think it's turmeric, which is why I've put it off for the very last job. My fridge has been, <laughs> it's been given a little bit of love, but not a lot. It was, cons it consisted of chocolate for a very long time. And then last night I made myself a gorgeous Greek salad uh, with some mackerel. So I'll probably have that for lunch today. And yeah, then we've got, what else have we got? This is the new runner rug and this is the pea soak stain that's being dried up. Bathroom cleaned within an inch of its life. And then, I mean, everything is still quite a mess, but I'm also still trying to work and get everything done because I'm in London for the next few days as well. So yeah, obviously in an ideal world, I'd have like, a week of no work and like no emails and just sort my life out. But unfortunately that don't really happen in this job and <laughs> there's too many things going on and too many things to do. So I'm just sort of plowing on, doing what I can when I can and that's the best I can do. The only slight problem we've got is this room is a catastrophe uh, and I can't find shit. I can't find any clothes. I've been like washing and recycling outfits like you'd not believe. We know when I say outfits, I mean, I'm talking leggings, t-shirt, jumper, tracksuit bottoms on Pete. I really do need to level up to be honest. I'm approaching 33. Things have got to change. Right, I'm gonna make a coffee because, well, I haven't had one yet and how tragic. Well, 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 would you look at that? Oh God, I've been sat down for too long. The sun's decided to appear. I have just finished my, hello. I have just finished my emails, admin, all of the things, jobs that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. And I have got a numb ass. I've been sat down for that long. I literally, I've been sat at my desk, not on my desk, what am I talking about? I've been sat, I've been sat at my laptop since 8 a.m. this morning and it's now quarter to 12. However, I feel like I have ticked off loads of like little bitty jobs that I've just not managed to do for so long, you know? I need to eat something. I need to take the boys for their midday pee, which is in 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Is that a perfect boy? Then is that another perfect one? Oh my God, I love it when he does that with his force. I'm kind of torn between what I do now, if that makes sense. Like I have so many things to do. Why is that pea stain not budging? I feel like I need to get my steam cleaner on it. I'm torn on where to start and what to do because the list is bigger than the day and bigger than the amount of time I have. I am traveling to London tomorrow morning and I'm there Thursday, Friday because the project that Billy and I have been hinting and talking about, you've been asking for for a very long time, is actually happening, like happening, and we have a date for it, and tomorrow is the first day that we click record on it. So um, I need to pack for that and 
fuck knows what I'm packing because I can't even find knickers at this rate. Um, I need to take the boys out. I've got a call with uh, a videographer at one o'clock. I need to eat something and I do need to get some sort of part order working in this establishment that is my flat. So I think what I'm going to do is, should I probably make bed? That would help. I need to go for a pee actually. You know when you just need a wee and you can't even concentrate? That's me right now. Right, should we do toilet time? That's what the lady said to do on the article. Should we do some toilet time now? It's midday, but this is your new routine, okay? This little good boy went for a wee straight away. Now we're waiting on Franco, who apparently is saying not happening on demand, I'm afraid. So we're just going to walk around the little green for a while and see what happens. And then it's good boy. See, like now I need a retractable lead so that they can just like run off. You both did two wees and now we're back for another nap. Come on then, on the sofa, on the beddy. They're just so happy. They've been so chilled. I'm going to steam clean this rug because it's annoying me that it's, I feel like it should have dried by now and it hasn't. So I'm going to put the steam cleaner on, do another little stint in the kitchen and I'm really craving um, beans. I bought some yesterday from Sainsbury's and I'm obsessed with chopped, uh, chopped ud onion, <laughs> chopped red onion, remember? So I might have some beans, chopped red onion on top. I've got some mackerel and some feta cheese and some chili oil. Does that not sound delicious? I mean, I really don't want to be like that person who just moans about stupid shit, but so I've cleared the two draining boards, put that stuff away and I've got myself down to this. So like now that's free, but now I want to eat something and I've still got these boxes to wash. I'm playing a game of Kitchen te Texas. <laughs> kitchen Texas, didn't hold them. It's like, do I unload it all and just get it out of the way? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm answering my own question. I've ordered this like stainless steel uh, rack type thing to go there because I have two options. I either put loads of my like serverware, which is my pride and joy, like my root collection of my personality. I either store that away or I try and find a way of like having it on display type thing, like stacked up nicely. So I've ordered one of those to go there. It should arrive today. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna steam that carpet. I'm gonna steam the rug, have some beans, carry on with this vacuum washing out. But life as we've discovered is far from perfect. Yeah, I like that. Why don't you like that? That's it, that's all I've got. But I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's absolutely perfect. Okay. Does anyone actually... <laughs> oh, my pains were so bad. I was literally. <laughs> oh, me too. Mine are really bad. Oh my god, it's like on I feel like I'm jumping. Wait, one second. Hold fire on being dramatic. Oh my god, are you making that? Are you making an egg salad? No. No, you made me bagels. Oh yeah. That was nice though. Apparently, you're meant to shake that oil. Yeah, I think so. This is my. This is my snack. Nice, I had a protein shake yesterday. This is the first thing I've eaten today. These are my, I've not eaten yet. These are my favourite protein shakes. Yeah, I love them. Right, okay, I'm going. I need to eat this because I'm going to pass out. There really aren't enough fucking hours in the day today. I, I just can't. It's not working. Do you know what I mean? I've been so productive, but the problem, problem is, is that now I've like... I've hit a brick, I've hit like a 3, 5 p.m. brick wall at midday. So I've decided to unpack the rest of this kitchen because my Amazon stuff has arrived, which means that stainless steel thing is here and I would quite like to get that built. I think that would be good. It will help a lot. Also, I have a feeling it's recycling day today. Could probably check that on... Uh, Google 
and then I can put the bins out. My favourite job. No! What am I gonna get rid of that? Luckily it's only that. If the one below it or the one below that had smashed, I would be so sad. Billy got me this for my 30th. And then Jason and Molly got me this as a wedding present, which Ov's keeping no matter what, because it's so special. What I'm thinking might be a smart idea, because this is filled with many a catastrophe, is to go and get some clear crates from my other room, stack what I'm keeping in there, get rid of everything else, and then get rid of this cardboard box, and then build my stainless steel shelf. Because as you can see, honey boo boo child, she's hanging on by a fucking thread there. But the good news is we are, we're all laid out. Everything that needs to be washed is all laid out, which means we are so close to the fucking end of this kitchen, I can't tell you. All I need to do is steam clean that cupboard, steam clean that cupboard, and then all the cupboards are done, which means over the weekend, I just need to do tiles, oven, hob, sink, breeze uh i feel like i look horrendous i need to go to the post office but i'm thinking i might hold out what time is the post office close one minute i'm just vlogging a sec you're on the camera i found the culprit for the open jar do you want to see what the vlog is seeing the open jar what open jar are you listening to me yeah i am what open jar are you talking about <laughs> in in <laughs> You're literally jumping about from conversation to conversation. One minute is a picture of puppies. The next minute is this open jar. A minute ago, you were talking about Oklahoma. I was trying to talk to you about a TikTok series. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell the vlog, whilst being on the phone to you, that the culprit for the spice jar that's exploded is the powdered ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Should we open this up together? Should we open up our Amazon ins together and see what we've got? For the best help ever. We've got some like film to block out the window so you can like, from the outside it just looks like a mirror, but from the inside you can look out to the window. It's good for privacy. Good for privacy. Here's my stainless steel thing. Oh my gosh, how cute are you? Like that, can you see? We'll build that in a moment. I've just done all the recycling. Oh my God, I've got a stitch. Not having cardboard boxes in here has actually helped an incredible amount. I am going to feed the boys, then take them for their post dinner walk, which is part of the new routine. Was that so yummy? Can I wipe your face, please? That's what we do around here, because we're clean boys. Finally ordered some mushrooms. And I know that you guys wanted me to keep you posted on the ones that I went for. So I've gone for these, New Leaf Advanced Mushroom Super Blend Complex Mushroom Extracts. Vegan, lab tested, and they also don't come in a capsule. But inside we have Chaga, Cordyceps, Lion's Mane, Maitake, Raishi, Reishi, Shiitake. Shiitake mushrooms. Did anyone, was anyone else a big uh, Spy Kids fan? We were big Spy Kids fans. I've just checked and the post office closes at six o'clock. So, oh God, I'm feeling knackered. Absolutely knackered I am. I also have a video to edit. This vlog is just going to be so fucking boring. I'm really sorry at the amount of times during the last 14 months I've just asked you to bear with me and hold on tight and hang on in there. I don't. We have had... It was rather a traumatic walk. Tested their new leads out. Yep, yeah, fine, cool. Cut my hand about 16 times because trying to hold one when they're both pulling is just ridiculous. Oh, I don't even know how to say it. I was literally filling up my stomach's churning. 
Vinny basically shook a pigeon to death and had feathers all around his mouth and it was just horrific. I quite literally cannot cope and my stomach feels like it's been tied up in 1,000 knots. Although this is kind of cute, I don't know why I'd forgive them. I'm very careful about how close he gets his, the inside of his mouth to me. I mean, I've had a problem for a while with Vinny eating poo. I've said that for ages and now this walk that I took him on today, he was so like disobedient and naughty and Vinny actually isn't really like that. He's very obedient on a walk. And with that and the consistent eating poo, I've decided to get a dog behaviorist in. So I've sent three messages and I just, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I just feel like I don't have time for everything I need to do today. And it's just stressing me out a little bit, which is so annoying because <laughs> I was so high on the fact that I was so calm and centered in the last vlog. And now this one, today's just been such a stressful day. I really couldn't decide what to have for dinner. And yesterday I made like this Greek salad just with rocket, olives, red onion, tomatoes, lemon juice, olive oil, feta, and I think that's it. Oh, some mackerel. I'm basically having the exact same today, but just with a bit of pasta because I feel like it's past the day today. Uh, annoyingly, it's really dark under here, so I've ordered some. Um, I've ordered some lights from Team U. I don't know if that's like. It's, sometimes they're just great for like cheap, quick, temporary things. So I've got some strip lights to go under here, which will help for cooking because this light doesn't work. And there's just there's an extensive list of things that I need to sort out, and I'm just kind of trying to eliminate as much stress as possible. So, we'll cook to Gavs. I'm going to, pasta's on cook, pasta's cooking, I'm just going to stir through some rocket as is, chop up some parsley, chop up some of these little black Kalamata olives, or pitted black olives from Waitrose, they're so good, they're like £81.80 or something like that for a massive pot, and I've had maybe like four portions out of that. I've got a piece of mackerel, too good to waste, it obviously went off yesterday I think, did it? Whatever. Chop up some red onion to go in there, a bit of feta, some fresh tomatoes, lemon juice, olive oil, salt. What more could we want on this fine Wednesday that feels like a Monday evening? I told my therapist actually that this is the problem with mackerel, it never actually makes it to the dish because I just like to stand and eat it whilst I'm cooking. Um, I told my therapist about sad girl pasta and it's basically just a name I created for pasta that you have when you're feeling a bit sad. Whatever pasta you like, you can have, but you just have to call it sad girl pasta. And then the aim is that it makes you feel better, no matter what the day. I need to do like a proper food shop. I still haven't done that yet. I also don't have um, anywhere for my spices to go. But again, again on Team U, I've seen these like extendable shelf things that go in the cupboards. So you like put them in and then you pull them out on a slider. So it gives you a lot more room. And I'm thinking that that might, or better than the situation I've got. Right, I'm going to show you this when it's done because the light is too shit for me to show you at chopping. Okay, if you're like new to the channel and you've just... Oh shit, we need to put the lights on in here. Yeah, sorry, if you're new here and you're, you've are you only just seen me cook dinner for the first time, you're thinking, what the actual fuck can this girl even cook? I promise you, this is probably my worst work. And it will still taste nice, but it ain't good. It also looks huge. It's quite a big bowl to be fair. Isn't it cool? Yeah, vibey. Come and show me then. Sorry everybody, I couldn't carry on vlogging yesterday. It was an absolute write off of the day. No, it was bad, wasn't it? Oh. Do you, need, do you need me to do anything? I just need your reg plate. Anyway, I was trying to tell everyone how bad yesterday was. It was a crazy day. <laughs> it weren't good, it weren't good. I think this secret project that me and Bills uh, keep talking to you about is kind of obvious. It's not so secret. It's not so secret anymore, but you, I'm still not gonna tell everyone exactly what it is until it is in front of us. Don't, don't give a garden talk. Don't worry. I won't give a garden talk. Um, so I thought I'd pick up the camera today and we'd combine the vlog into two days. And you guys haven't seen Bills for a while. Do you like my camera? Is that my palm tree? Yeah. Vabby! 
Yeah, this is cool. Do you think it's a bit cold in here, though? Should no, but I, th on? I wouldn't if I was you, because when all the no. lights go on... Turn the lights down low. Just the only thing I will say is this genuinely looks like the opening of a vagina. Yeah, yeah, I know. I only had it like that so you could see that it was. Do you know why I'm shouting? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Dolls, by the way, guys. We um, it wasn't. It, that was like for what five hundred quid. I don't think it's too bad. I'm glad we got the three seats though. The two seats I think would have been too small for our fetish. She got fat so. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's marked. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to do it like this so that you see a little bit of the red. Like, yeah, kind of maybe on one bit. I like it though, I think it looks good. Considering we pulled that out of our ass in a day. We pulled a lot of things out of our asses in a day. <laughs> I literally got everything. That's why yesterday was rough. Everything in this room in 48 hours. Oh, vibe a little candle. Not really on brand because I. Me and Bills keep arguing about how posh everything is for her, I and I'm like, I put there so there was something on the table because I was like, just look a bit there. Well, let's just pretend you got some TK Maxx, shall we? We're allowed to have nice things too. Yeah, we are, but that sofa was a bargain. That is from Home Base. The stools are from IKEA. Yeah. Hashtag relatable. Should we light the candle? Yeah. Would you light my candle? Oh, we're going to sing about it, though, do we? <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. I don't want loads on because I just don't really wear loads every day. Oh, yeah, of course. Very dehydrated. I spent way too long in the sauna yesterday. I spent way too long in the sauna yesterday. I'm like, oh, mad really into the sauna vibes, aren't they? Oh my yeah. god, this is the weirdest conversation, and I know we've only just met, but I've just listened to a podcast about sexual health. Right. Right? <laughs> Let's just get to know each other real yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah, absolutely. Apparently, this sauna thing is like, yeah, a lot of people are talking about it, but do you know how damaging sauna heat can be on your... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, so you're not, you're not meant to do it like more than twice a week. Yeah. And they say if you're trying for a baby, don't use sauna, yeah, yeah. don't get in the hot tub. Don't have the phone in yeah, your testicles because the heat. heat. Yeah. They teach you this in school, Bill. So I don't really like saunas. We well, haven't got testicles either, so I don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm dying a little bit inside, as in oh. I'm a little bit ill. Oh no. I know. Um, is this not the coolest thing? That's Technically these are wrong because they're meant to be cool. sweatshirts, not hoodies, but isn't that amazing? I, I rate the hoodie though. No, I'm not into it. But I'll wear it for today. Oh. Also, Becky, you you always look so cool, like your clothes. What? No, it's no way. Yeah, no, all the time. Oh I know. It's so accurate. And do you know the other thing? I think. The other thing with that, right? It's my best performing content. Is me trying on shit clothes. <laughs> is it over anything? Oh, it is really. Because ASOS so... is like it's like a lottery though, isn't it? I know. I, I actually give out. That Morticia Adams thing. I bought something like that before. I was like, what can go wrong? And it's like a bodysuit that you just look like a sausage. In. It's such shit quality <laughs> as well. <laughs> I want you to pick my ASOS for next time. I want to look like that. Can I show everyone your outfit? Talk us, talk us through it. Never done it before. This is like a mum on the school run. Look, I've gone for. Mum on the school run. If I had kids, I cannot tell you what my mum on the school run would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Bills, I feel like we're giving away so much. Do you know what? Um, do you know what there really needs to be? There needs to be better jelly jams. Just <laughs> talking about jelly jam. It's <laughs> <laughs> great chat to be fair. Chef. I feel like I know the, the name. James Cochran's sauce shop chili jam scotch bonnet. It's absolutely unbelievable. Oh, have had it. I've yeah. had it. So no, so don't take it. Um, Would you maybe take? Could you take the mirror into the kitchen? This. Yeah. Same, but I did that with my retainer on holiday recently, <laughs> and it cost slightly me slightly different. Well, I mean, it still cost me three hundred and seventy-five oh, pounds wow. to replace. I mean, it cost me twenty-five. Pounds. Did you? <laughs> right, give them down. Um, sure. To be annoying, I do think. Like, you don't understand how hard it is being an influencer. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're not yeah. saving lives. Come on, I I think we take a kind of different approach to it, being almost like <laughs> we need to, so cute. we need to talk more about pigeons though. I can't get over that. I can't okay, get that is how much did you find out about that? No, they honestly, my knees, my knee is like weak. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them. You know, um, God, I know what you're thinking. First of all, I'm thinking, why is this camera on an absolute slant? That's so weird. Where are you? Why are you not with Bills? A lot's happened since I last recorded. Um, basically, oh God, I've picked my lip. DB is not gonna be happy, but 
not my problem. We finished, ra well, we wrapped up about half past three and I had a uh, family, there was a private family event happening today that I didn't think I'd be able to make it to, but I ended up just jumping in the car at half past three and getting here uh, for about five-ish. So I managed to make it and then coincidentally my dad stayed down here last night in this area of London which is the other side of London to where I've been with Bills today and he accidentally booked a room at the Premier Inn for this evening so he was like well you can have the room if you want which was just worked out perfect because what I didn't want to do was obviously drive I'd have obviously driven this morning drive an hour and a half to this area of London to then drive all the way back to where Bills is and then um like drive back back home tomorrow it's a lot of driving so when he said he had the room I was like oh my god perfect I've got in and I'm just deciding whether to eat something I'm not massively hungry but I feel like if I don't eat I will regret and I don't want to wake up tomorrow feeling rough so I'm just gonna have a look and see if I can order anything I also cannot believe I've been so stupid and basically forgotten my cleanser and I really don't want to go out and get a cleanser. I don't know what innovation I'm coming up with today as to how I'll be taking my makeup off but please stay tuned to find out. It's been a very very long day, a very exciting day, a very um, I don't know just like feel super proud of Bills and I for like finally, finally pulling this stuff off that's been like in the pipeline for over a year now and the reason why it's taken so long is because we wanted to do it a particular way, we wanted to make sure we had enough money to um, have it done to a certain standard and stuff like that and by no means is it perfect, not at all but we just, yeah, we had a vision and it's so amazing when something you've worked so hard for has come to fruition and I think you talk about something for so long you almost don't even feel it be a reality and then today has just really kicked everything into play and it feels so real now which is really really exciting I just think that feel it feels like things are shifting now for me with with work um I, it's been so hard the whole of the last sort of like 14 months have obviously been so hard I've spoken about it a million times it's basically become a fucking personality trait but I just think there's been a shift and I'm really happy I feel even like some of the things we were talking about today, I just felt kind of like, whoa, honey boo child, you have grown and I'm proud of you. And it's just, it's silly stuff. Like even when we're sat around having lunch and I'm not finding that social setup like exhausting or having conversation really hard or I just feel so at home with myself at the moment and I haven't felt that for so long, if ever. Ah, uh, it's just a really, really nice feeling. So, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling. I need to order something to eat. I'm absolutely devastated, but I didn't actually record this. I thought I clicked record and it obviously didn't happen. But I ended up removing my makeup with two lip balms mixed together. Shout out to Nivea and Summer Fridays. Tara, sorry about that. My skin feels kind of smooth, I can't lie. <laughs> I am going to leave it there now. I'm going to go and put my big fat period nickers on. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm having the period from hell right now. Okay, we'll try and have an early night because it's another big day tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a photo shoot and sh we're shooting some video content for the brand sponsoring the project. Have I got my mascara off? So I will see you next week. Thank you as always so much for your support, love, comments. I read every single one of them. I'm forever grateful and I love you all so much. See you soon.